one. They pinned this man one time with a three count. Dropped an elbow on him and pinned him again for a five count. He told the referee. Uh, what is up, Straight Talk Society? Welcome back to another edition of Five Count. What? Well, wait a minute. Well, this isn't Five Count? Well, we're doing a top ten tonight. Okay. Well, welcome to the first edition of Top Ten. Yeah, I, I know we are doing a Five Count. We are doing a something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, you guys know if you listen to the channel Wrestling With Reality that I am a huge wrestling fan. I am a 44-year-old man. That has been watching wrestling since I was five years old. So you do the math. Um, almost 40 years. We're like 30, 38, 39 years. So I've seen it all. Um, I got a good knowledge of wrestling history in my head. So I thought that this, this top 10 would be a great one to do. Tonight's top 10 is my top 10 wrestling belt designs so no I'm not going to give you the history of the belt who made them whether it's a J Mar or a figures eight or Reggie Parks um, you can go to Conrad Thompson for that I'm, I'm not going to do that I'm just going to tell you my absolute favorite top 10 wrestling belt designs and starting off the list at number 10 oh, we have the WWF World Tag Team Championships. Oh my God, I love this belt. As a tag team wrestling fan, and shout out to Triple H for making tag team wrestling relevant again in, in the WWE, but I love <clears throat> this belt. The, the the prestige of this belt, um, the dual plate, and when I think about this belt, I think about Demolition. I think about um, the Heart Foundation. I think about the Brain Busters. I think about those great tag teams that wore this belt. Um, the current WWE tag team titles are terrible. Um, they the, the, the Roman Centurion on them, the Copper Panties. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't understand why with WWE especially, they can go from something this great to something that looks so toyish and I think that's what it is um, WWE does cater a lot to children um, so they make those those belts look like toys but nevertheless my number 10 belt is the WWF World Tag Team Championships which I think they stopped using them I want to say like about 2002 around the time when they unified the WCW titles with the WWF belts don't quote me I may be wrong but hey it's a long time ago. My number nine favorite belt design. Oh, it's a new one. This might be the newest one on the list, but it doesn't take away from the beauty of it. The AEW World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, this is a beauty. When they debuted this belt in May of 2019, um, I just was like, wow. And at that time, I was an AEW hater. Um, but when I saw this belt, even me couldn't deny it. I was like, oh my God, what a fantastic belt man the, the 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 plates the prestige i love i love that they went away from the block style that belts normally have you got more of an oval style you know then the cutouts of the side plates fit into the main plate oh just just a beautiful belt man um they made a couple of changes to it now the more updated belt I think they have the removable side plates now, so you could whoever wins it could put their side plates on it. But nevertheless, man, this is a tremendous belt. And if this is coming in at number nine on my list of favorite belts of all time, oh man, this is going to be a great list. But man, shout out to the AEW World Title. My number eight belt design is oh man, the classic United States Heavyweight Championship from WCW. Man, the greats like Sting, Lex Luger, um, Big Van Vader, Dustin Rhodes, Steve Austin. Like, everybody's held this belt. Um, Tully Blanchard, Barry Windham. What a phenomenal belt. Just a, So, let's compare and contrast this to the WWE United States title. Well, I like the new WWE United States title because it isn't, it isn't crazy on the paint like the one prior to it. That was just in the big American flag with a WWE logo but you see the detail on this you have the eagle you have the big eagle in the middle and it's just less is more I mean they have just the United States inside of the eagle with the red white and blue just just prestigious 
just a, a gorgeous belt just I mean when you see this this looks like something that is the secondary belt in a company this was the belt before you win the WCW big gold belt this was the stepping stone this was um I say this was a sister to the IC belt. I know Van Cass is going to be mad at that because he thinks it's more prestigious than the IC belt, but whatever. Um, this is a sister to the IC belt. This is the workman's belt for WCW, man. Just when you held this belt, this just seems like something you could build a feud around, something you want to win. Just the simplicity of it. Just, just a tremendous um, piece of artistry here. So my number seven favorite uh, ta uh, world ta um, <laughs> my number seven favorite belt design is oh uh, the IWGP title listen I don't watch New Japan um, I couldn't tell you ten of their wrestlers but I could tell you fantastic wrestling belts and this I want to say is the version four which was a, a marriage of all their previous belts oh my god this belt is phenomenal this is a belt that I do hope to own at some point uh, this is just just a beautiful again dual plated another title that when you see this belt you're like man I want to win that that is not a toy I want to win that I want to walk around with that the new IWGP title looks terrible I don't know what I don't know they got that Vince McMahon in them where they was just like okay let's take what was great and let's just see how we could make mess it up in the worst way worst way possible but this version 4, this is like version 3, version 4, IWGP title, phenomenal. Just a tremendous looking, beautiful belt, man. Something that I do, like I said, do want to own at some point. Let's go to number 6. Oh, I mean, how could, how could this not be on anybody's list? If you're doing a top 10 wrestling belts, you got to have the NWA World Heavyweight title belt on there. This is the belt that I remember when I first started watching wrestling. Um, Dusty Rhodes would have this belt. Harley Race. Harley Race is who I remember the most with this belt. The 10 pounds of gold. Because he'd always do his promos and he'd be like, I'm carrying the 10 pounds of gold. And there's no one bad enough to beat me for this. And man, this is a phenomenal belt. Simplistic design. Has the, um, the, 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 the different flags on it. Just a tremendous, tremendous belt. They still actually use this today in the NWA that uh, Billy Corgan has, but nevertheless, man, this this belt is just is is top top of the line. Um, again, another belt that when you win it, you're like, oh my god, this is something that I want to win. This is not a toy. This is a real championship. This says champion. Uh, yesterday, I was watching um, Kerry Von Erich versus Ric Flair at the Parade of Champions that they did at Texas Stadium um, after David Von Erich died. And when Kerry Von Erich won this, the look on his face when he looked at it, oh man, it, it, it was awesome, man. Just people can say whatever they want about wrestling, but when you when when you are the champion and you have the top prize, oh, this is fantastic. This belt represents like just the world I mean when you see this you're like man you're a world champion so let's get into the top five my number my number five favorite wrestling belt oh man another classic from the NWA WCW the NWA television title oh man what a beautiful belt man and this I want to say this is the only belt on this list that um that isn't gold this one is completely silver you have different variations this one is my favorite the black strap with the red interior um Tully Blanchard is to me who made this belt famous Sting had it Great Muda had it Arn Anderson had a run with it seemingly like 10 years it seemed like every time I saw this belt um Arn Anderson had it but the one that Arn Anderson had was when they moved it to the red strap. They'd go back and forth with the um, the red strap with the blue. Uh, but nevertheless, man, this this belt is phenomenal. This is another one that I would love to own. Um, this this just a great piece piece of artistry. Like when you see these type of belts, man. These again, this is saying I am the best wrestler on TV. And this is something that doesn't have a big logo in the middle of it. For everybody that thinks I can't be critical of WWE, that doesn't have your big stupid logo in the middle. I get why they do it, but it doesn't say champion. It says toy. This belt says champion, that I'm the best wrestler on TV. I just realized 
They had the ABC and CBS logos on, meaning they are the TV, even though the belt was only defended on TBS, they still have major network logos on it. This, this belt is phenomenal, man. Hey, this is, I got a couple more belts that I got to get. I'm running out of room, but being the belt collector that I am, I'll make room for it. I'll find a place. I got to butter up wifey and see if she'll let me take over another one. I don't know, but we'll see how that goes. Let's get to number four. Oh, come on, man. You listen to me for 10 minutes. You know this belt was not being left off the list. The workman's title, the WWF Intercontinental Championship. Held by greats like the Macho Man Randy Savage. The way he'd hold that belt with the prestige. Tito Santana. Um, um, Ultimate Warrior. Shawn Michaels. I mean, this this belt, even when Cody Rhodes brought back the white version uh, before, in his first run. I mean, this, this belt. This is the workman's title. This was the most prestigious to me belt that WWE had. Like the look of this is just tremendous. Like this was the belt that everybody wanted to have. I almost wish that they would have brought this back for Gunther's reign because Gunther's having such a, a epic reign that will never be broken. This is the belt that Gunther. I'm okay with the new IC title. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. But this is the belt that I would love to see Gunther have. They should do an old school uh, wrestling uh, show where they bring back all the old titles, you know, for a pay per view or something, and let the let the guys defend the old versions of the belts. I bet the I bet WWE shop sales will go through the roof because a lot of people don't know about these. A lot of wrestling fans are these young people that don't have any knowledge of history. They don't know anything, you know, past what they've seen, they don't, you know, so it's just like, okay, man, but when you see this belt, you're like, oh my God, this is prestige, this is old school WWF, like, when you think about WWF, I want to say this is the belt that comes to your mind before um, the belts that's coming up, because, and the reason being is because this belt was defended more, Hulk Hogan was only on TV a couple times a year, so you didn't always see the, the top championship. But this was a belt that was always defended at house shows. This was always a belt that, that um, headlined all the shows that weren't televised and things like that. So, yeah, the workman's title. This, man, I hope they somehow bring this belt back. This is phenomenal. All right, let's get into the top three. Uh, what do I have for my top three? Top three. Oh, <laughs> My number three favorite title of all time is the Winged Eagle Belt, which I do own. Check out the unboxing video that I did for it. I do own the Winged Eagle title. Um, tremendous belt. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. At one point, it was my second favorite of all time until you see what number two is because I, I own both of them and I had them side by side. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I think... I like this one better, but the Winged Eagle belt, what can you say? I mean, this, the Hulk Hogan belt, the Bret Hart belt, um, Shawn Michaels, like when you see this title and it's flopping, Ultimate Warrior would change the straps and do different colors on it. Just a phenomenal belt, man. This, this is, this is, this is a champion. Like, you're the champion of an organization, this is what you want. You don't want the big W in the middle. You don't want the belt that spins. You, this is the belt that you want to say, hey, I am the champion. And this is, man, this is the creme de la creme. When I talk about, I mean, when I talk about WWE titles, this is one, this is like 1A, 1B, 1B, 1A, however you want to mix it. Um, this is, I, I mean, this is the top of the line here. You know, there was rumors that if Cody would beat Roman, he'd bring back a version of the Winged Eagle title. I'd love that. If he could bring back the Winged Eagle title, man, because it's just so prestigious. Because when you look at Roman's belt now and you compare it to this, you're like, hey, come, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you really doing? This, this man, this is the top of the line, man. You own one of these, um, you're lucky. I remember we were at SmackDown a couple of months ago, and you know there were a few people, me being included, that had this belt, and it was like a brotherhood when we notice each other from the other side of the room. We just hold the belts up or we walk past each other and we clank each other because you're holding history. I mean, you're holding a piece of history. 
So, my number two favorite title of all time. Well, if the Wind Eagle is number three, then the Big Eagle has got to be number two. For the longest, I had the Winged Eagle title ahead of the Big Eagle title. But when now that I own the both of them, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, well, wait a minute. I think the Winged Eagle title is just a notch below, like a hair below the Big Eagle. The Big Eagle is, is a tremendous belt, man. This is the belt that Vincent Man pre presented to Stone Cold after WrestleMania 14. Um, at the time, it was on the blue strap. With this title, though, I always feel like this is a Triple H belt. Like, Triple H is, it was Triple H being one of my favorite wrestlers. No figure, go figure why I would love this one the most. But I feel like Triple H always had this belt. And, you know, this is the Attitude Era belt. You see the Scratch logo on it. But this belt, man, was 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 tremendous, man. This I don't think this was around long enough. This I don't even think this had a full 10 years. At least the Winged Eagle belt had 10 years. I don't think this had a full 10, um, 10 years because they did so many different variations. You had the Brahma Bull belt. You had the Smoking Skull belt. You know, I, I just think, man, this this was a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous belt right here, man. When they when they brought this out, I'm like, okay, yeah, now we can move on. You're kind of scared. You don't want to move on from the Winged Eagle. But then when you see this, you're like, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll give you a pass here. This, man, this is phenomenal, man. This is up on my display case. Um, check out my shorts. You'll see, I think my most recent short, I, I, I did a, um, a shot of all my belts that I have. And the number one, it's time to get into the number one. My number one favorite belt design of all time. I mean, who are we kidding? If this belt isn't number one on everybody's list, what are you doing? You have the big gold belt, the dual plated big gold belt um, that I mean, this is the Ric Flair belt. When you saw this, Ric Flair debuted this out at once. It was like 19. I think it was between like 86, 88, somewhere to that regard. I don't I don't too much remember. Um this is, I mean, th this this is the creme de la creme. Like, this is, if the Wayne Deagle is the creme de la creme of WWF, then the big goal is the creme de la creme of wrestling belts, period. Uh, this is the belt that says champion. You even see Pastor Troy would always have this belt. Aaron Rodgers had this belt at the Super Bowl. Uh, I know WWE gives out their WWE titles to Super Bowl winners and stuff like that. You see Patrick Mahomes with the WWE title. I bet you if you gave Patrick Mahomes one of these, he would be just up, you know, over the moon. This is the best wrestling belt, in my opinion, ever made. Just tremendous. Um, no over-the-top design. No frills. The tooling is phenomenal. The simplicity of the main plate, the big main plates, and then you have the two smaller plates. That's it with the rubies around it. Um, the original one was on a brown strap. Um, later on, they moved to the black strap. But the W, the 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 it was called yeah, it was the NWA at one point. But that was a whole big hodgepodge. But this is the WCW big gold belt. This is the belt that. Um, that Ric Flair showed up on WWF television with this belt is phenomenal man this is the belt that is like if, if you're gonna own one piece of history in wrestling you got to have the big gold belt and speaking of the big gold belt I did purchase this belt um, I do have this belt on the way it's being held up in customs for some strange reason I do have <clears throat> I do have this belt coming um, to me in a couple of weeks I will be doing an unboxing of it but my you know my collection wouldn't be complete without this it, it would not I mean I have the winged eagle I have the big eagle I have the WWE logo belt I have the John Cena spinner belt but my collection cannot be complete without the greatest wrestling belt ever made and there you have it my top 10 favorite belts of all time you're talking about almost 40 years of watching wrestling to pick out the 10 that i thought is the greatest of all time to me to me to me to me if you don't agree with them please let me know down in the comment section whether you like my list what would you take out what would you add hey 
But I got to get out of here. Until next time.